Hello, hello everyone. I hope that I am live right now. If not, um, you will catch me in a second. Um, I'm coming on today because I want to talk really super quickly about a few different concepts. So the concepts I want to talk about is inclusion, diversity, equality and equity in your business. Now these are all very different things um, and it's really good to understand the difference between these different things and why they're important. And not only that, but understand them in order for you to decide what you actually want for your business, what actually aligns for you in your business. So I'm going to go over them re relatively quickly um, so you get a good understanding of them. Uh, but before I do that, I am going to be doing an acknowledgement of country. So I, Louise O'Reilly of the Wadawa and Noongar people would like to acknowledge the Wajak people of the Noongar nation as the traditional and ongoing custodians of the lands and waters on which I am on right now. I pay deep loving respects to the elders of this space, um, of these lands, and I would also like to acknowledge the custodians on the lands on which you're on and also the elders in those places as well or whatever term they refer to themselves there. Okay, so if you don't know me, you're unfamiliar with who I am. My name is Louise O'Reilly and I am an inclusion and diversity coach, mentor and membership space holder. So let's get into what we are talking about today. The first thing I want to talk about is inclusion in business. So inclusion in business isn't just a simple case of going, okay, I'm going to get people who look differently to come in and do stuff with me. That's not what it's about. Inclusion is about building your business based on the experiences, the wants, the needs, the desires of people who identify in all different ways, um, who come from different backgrounds, have different lived experiences. And so that's not just having your business um include people at a stage where you're doing action it's more of from the very beginning having those people in mind listening to what those people who identify differently um what they're actually saying what their experiences are with your particular industry with business in general with customer service and having those things in mind and then going okay i have listened to those people what can i actually do to make sure my business is inclusive of their needs uh, and it will make it um, easier for them to have access to me to what I've got to offer it also um, it, it's removing those obstacles that are often in the place well they're always in place for people who are oppressed there are these different obstacles that they have to get through to get the same level of service or same level of accessibility or just um, access to the services in general so that is in a nutshell what inclusion is, is making sure that they are their needs the needs of marginalized people of oppressed people are in the whole process of your business from the very foundation from the very concepts and the intentions all the way through the process until the end part where it's you're actually delivering those things as well and they need to be there you need to be listening to those things this is not something you can come up with you can't come up with those solutions only the people who are experiencing those things can come up with those solutions and tell you what they need and then you can respond okay next we are going to go into what is diversity in business um, and this is sometimes I find businesses kind of um, put the cart before the horse so to speak um, now I say I'm an inclusion and diversity coach because there is a certain process that needs to go through and you can't have genuine diversity real diversity in your business if you haven't created the inclusive space first so what inclusion does is it creates the space which makes it available and safe and accessible for those people who who do identify differently diverse groups of people can come into that space and it is a safe space for them to come into so what, I, what I'm talking about when I say businesses often put the cart before the horse is that they go, okay, um, I have a really beautiful intention that I want to be more inclusive and I want to have more diversity in my business. Um, 
And then they go ahead and they make things like quotas um, and making sure that a certain percentage of um, speaking their speaking panels are marginalised people and all these different things without doing the proper groundwork to make sure that space is safe for those marginalised people to enter into. Um, and I'm going to be really truthful with you here. Most business spaces are not safe for marginalised people to be into. It's a very volatile, very unsafe space to be in when you go into it and it is filled with people who have almost the same lived experiences, the same outlooks on life, the same belief systems, the same cultures, they look the same. It's very intimidating to go into that space and you have different belief systems and different ideas and different ways of approaching things um, and you just look differently in general. It's very intimidating to go into those spaces. So what we want to be doing is making sure we're preparing the space first to make sure it is safer for those marginalised people to enter into. And when it is safe, naturally the diversity will be um, attracted into those spaces as well. So diversity is basically where there is a space where people who identify differently and look differently are. Inclusion is when you are valuing and caring about the inputs that they have, what they, what their experiences are, what they actually need. Let's move on to equality. So equality is something that so many people are saying, you know, I, I believe in equality, I want equality for all. Um, and that is such a beautiful thing to want. But when you understand what equality actually means, in lots of instances, equality is actually, um, uh, people can still be oppressed with equality. People can still not have or be equal when you have equality. Let me explain. So if you decide in your business that you want things to be, um, you want equality. And so that means every single person that comes to you and to your, use your services gets the exact same treatment. They get the exact same program. They get the exact same um, offerings that you're, you're giving. So everything is exactly the same. What you'll find is that that level of equality, so you have people who are, I don't know if you're familiar with the, um, it's like the hierarchy of privilege uh, where the most privileged person is at the top and that, that privileged, most privileged person in our particular patriarchal system is, um, you know, a male, he's white, uh, European descent, um, usually quite well off, has lots of money, uh, usually um, a Christian. So there's lots of uh, different traits that are associated with this perceived ideal human who is the most privileged person uh, in our Western society. And then you go down. So every time you don't meet, meet a certain trait, you go down in that hierarchy um, and then there are some people who are along the bottom. And so if you're saying equality for all, so you're saying anyone who comes from that hierarchy comes to your business, you're going to give them this much. So every single person gets this much. So the people who are up here get this much. So they're up there now. But the people down here are also getting this much but they're still down here. So sometimes equality doesn't actually work in businesses and which is really why we need to have this, which is the very next thing I want to talk about with you, which is equity. So equity is really good. And I think quite often when people say they want equality, what they actually mean is they want equity. And equity is where you can understand there is that hierarchical system that we're currently living in and that there are certain groups of people who require additional stuff to be at an equal level. So, for example, that person who is at that top of that hierarchy, they're getting this much. So they're here sitting, getting this much. And the people at the bottom of that hierarchy are here, let me put my hand straight, are here. So 
to be equitable, to make these people here up to this point here, you're actually offering, <laughs> I don't know if my fingers can spread that much, that much to them to make them come to an equal standpoint. The fact that at the very beginning, we're not starting at the same starting line. We're starting at further distances away, which is why equity is so important to have. So in business, what equity can look like is um, it can look like uh, sliding scales for income. It can look like uh, scholarships that have are built to be equitable so people who are marginalized get higher scores and a greater potential to receive scholarships um, it can look like you making sure when you are providing a service to individuals that you're not giving the exact same service to every single one it's it's what they require from you as that service provider and it changes depending on that particular person and how they identify and how they fit into it all. So I hope that that has been a little bit clearer on the difference between inclusion, diversity, equality and equity. If you do have any questions, please pop them in the link um, uh, in the comments below and I'll come back and answer them for you. And while I'm here, I do also want to say if you do want to go deeper into this stuff, there is so much to uncover for businesses. Um, what? <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just flipping back to a conversation I had earlier that our businesses and a lot of the Western businesses and what they're actually built on is patriarchal systems and even if you are a woman in business you identify as a woman in business and you are running it the way that most women are running their business is still based on those status quo systems the patriarchal systems of the way business operate um, so you, when we can look into what is classed as the everyday, you know, everyday business stuff and really start to question those status quo is what's it actually doing? Where's it going? What's the outcomes going to be? Who is this helping? Um, who is this not helping? And really start to question how we're doing everything in business and ask the question, is this actually aligned to what I want to be creating in the world? Is this actually aligned to my own value systems? We can break them down and work out exactly what your business wants to do and how your business wants to show up in the world. Not only that, we look at... Um, we look at the where you sit in the conversation of everything. So when you're actually wanting to take action and be inclusive or be equitable um, and create that space for diversity, you know the actions you can take or the actions that are probably inappropriate. You know what you can talk about and the spaces where you need to amplify other people's voices. All those things. So I do have two spaces um, and it is two one-on-one -on -one spots available as of next week so if you are interested in hearing just even hearing more about the program it is a four-week program and i do have an eight-week program as well but if you're interested in hearing e about either of those in the link you can book a uh, clarity call with me and we'll go through it and make sure it's actually going to be a good fit for you and your business and um yeah I look forward to hearing your questions and um, if you are interested in doing any one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I do have two spots. So get in contact with me as soon as possible. I'm sending you so much love and thank you for watching the video. I hope it has made the inclusion, diversity, <laughs> equality and equity more, um, more understandable for you. Bye for now.